assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video and if you just happen to stumble upon this video welcome to my channel so on this channel i make diy videos on hijabs jubabs abayas max dresses basically anything modest so today's tutorial is on how to make this maxi hijab with side plates so for this tutorial i'm going to be working with two and a half yard of fabric or two 0.5 meter of fabric then the length of my hijab is 4 inches 40 inches for the front length and then 50 inches for the back length so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to fold my fabric into two so after folding into two i'm just going to mark my front hijab length which is 40 inches or one or two centimeter so i'm going to mark it to the other edge of the fabric So after marking, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. So after cutting out, I'm going to have one piece for my front piece and then the other piece for my back piece. So for the front piece, it's about 40 inches by 60 inches and then the back piece is about 50 inches by 60 inches. So what I'm just going to do now is that I'm going to fold my back piece after which I'm going to fold the front piece on it. So after folding, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my head circumference and I'm going to divide that by 4. So my head circumference is 20 inches divided by 4, so that's 5 inches or 25 centimeters. So I'll just go ahead and mark that there. And I'm not including any allowance because I'm using a jersey fabric and it is stretchy. So after marking that, the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to make a diagonal line of 45 inches or 114 centimeter. And I'm going to mark that. So after marking it, I'm just going to connect the points. So after connecting, we're going to have this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape around my wrist and I'm going to take my wrist measurement and divide that by 2. So my wrist measurement is 7 inches divided by 2, so that's 3.5 or 9 centimeter. So I'll just go ahead and mark that. And then I'm going to make a slight curve. So the next thing I'm just going to do is to connect from my wrist to the front piece and then to the back piece. So I'm just going to make a slight curve to join the front piece and then to join the back piece also. After which I'm going to cut it out. So after cutting, I'm going to have this. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to remove the front piece because I'm going to make a slight curve there. So taking the front piece now, I'll just go ahead and mark 3 inches or 8 centimeter, and then I'm going to make a slight curve there. I'm just going to cut it out. After which I'm going to take my back piece and then I'm going to open it up. After opening it, I'm just going to place the front piece on it, right side facing each other. So 
so after placing the front piece on the back piece i'll just go ahead and stitch the sides the two sides So I'm going to stitch in such a way that I'm going to leave the sleeve opening. So I'm just going to st stitch from there. So I'm just going to confirm my wrist measurements. Then from where my wrist stop, I'm going to mark 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter. And then I'm going to stitch that part also in order to close up my wrist part. So I'm just going to stitch that part by one inch or 2.5 centimeter. Then I will do the same to the other side. So after stitching that, we're going to have something like this. So the next, and that's the wrist part, the wrist opening. I'm just trying it on. And it fits perfectly well. So the next thing I'm just going to do is to cut out the jab cap. So from the remaining fabric, I'm just going to fold into four. So after folding into four for the jab cap length, I'm going to be using 10 inches or 25 centimeter. And then for the width, I'm going to be using 4 inches or 10 centimeter. So I'll just go ahead and mark that. And I'm going to make a curve with it. So I'm just going to cut it out. After which, I'm going to notch the midpoint. I will have this for the jab cap. So what I'm just going to do is I'll go ahead and attach it to my jab piece, right side facing each other. After joining the jab cap to the jab piece, I'm going to have this. So the next thing I'm just going to do is I'll come to the joint line there and I'm going to come down by 10 inches or 25 centimeter. So I'll just go ahead and mark that. So after marking that from that 10 inches point, I'll just come down by 8 inches or 20 centimeter. So what I'm just going to do is from the 10 inches to the 8 inches point, I'm going to start forming plates. So I'll just go ahead and form plates. And on the other side also, I'm going to do the same. So flipping to the other side, I'm just going to mark 10 inches. And then I'll come down from the 10 inches also by 8 inches. So I'll form plate the there also. So I'm just forming plates. So after forming plate at both sides, we are going to have this. On the other side also, we are going to have this. So the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to come to the wrist parts. And then I will fold it twice and then hem it. I'm 
and we'll do the same to the other sleeve also. After which I'm going to hem the lower parts or the edges of the hijab piece. And then you can overlock the inside if you want. So that is all for this hijab and this is just me trying it on. I hope you find it tutorial helpful. And don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Jazakumullah And if you have any question, you can drop it in the comment section. Then if you have tutorials you want me to make, you can check my community page. I'm going to leave my Instagram page there so you can just send it as a DM. Now, um, thank you so much for watching. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And I will see you in my next video, inshallah.